Ruby. My idea of the perfect puppet film is a film where the audience forgets that the actors are puppets. My two favorite friends, Frog and Toad, live inside this book. Everything was based on Arna Lobel's illustrations. From these, I tried to create a real little world, one different from Mars, one that a child would love to live in. Arnold's illustrations of Frog and Toad are actually memory sketches of old friends. <laughs> like all of us, they've put on weight as they've grown older. Here is Arnold's illustration of Frog and Toad having tea. And this is my version. The first version of Frog and Toad look quite different. Separate faces with different mouths were used. The faces were held on with magnets and were changed in sync with the soundtrack to make them talk. The final frog and toad had flexible faces. Oh. Ha. <laughs> ah. Uh. <laughs> What's rotten? <laughs> All of the puppets started out as ordinary clay. Later, a resin mold was made of this clay frog. Here, my wife Nikki is pulling frog out of his mold. He's now made out of a very flexible foam latex. All of the puppets have internal skeletons called armatures, made with hand machine ball and socket joints. Huh? Oh! I make my own armatures. Here I'm setting up the lathe with a piece of brass. It would be nice if machining a ball joint went as fast as it does in time-lapse photography. And here's the finished frog bone. A good armature is important in producing smooth animation. It must be finely tuned, not too tight, not too loose. Since all the animals have armatures, we needed nearly 1,000 hand machine pieces. Oh, really? Toad, don't be silly. I'm not. We've asked Frog to demonstrate a simple arm move. Two gauges locate the beginning and end of the move. If Frog moves his arm in one second, it takes 12 moves, two frames per move. Frog? Yes. Make the move slowly so that we can see the 12 different positions. One, uh, two, three, four, oh. five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, oh. eleven, twelve. Now, Frog, do the 12 moves in one second. Ha <sighs> <laughs> Wee! Frog, come down from there. You can't fly. Yikes! Oh. Frog. Don't be silly. On this editing machine, we can count each frame of the soundtrack. Oh, yes, there will. The voices are recorded oh, before shooting on magnetic movie film. Yes, there will. I would say you. There are 24 oh, frames to a second, so each sound can be numbered on an exposure sheet. When you're animating, you simply keep track of the frame number and its corresponding voice sound. It isn't as hard as it seems. Inside Frog's head is a mechanism that allows me to shape his expressions simply by pinching and pulling on his face. 
a special tongue depressor helps me to pry frog's mouth open to say, Oh, yes, there will. Expose two picture frames and it's back to the exposure sheets to start the next move. The cycle starts again. Oh, yes, there will, because I've sent you a letter. It's magic when you can take a puppet and develop a definite personality with it. The very first step is acting out the part. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it. Because now I feel terrible. Then you get out of bed and let me get into it. Because now I feel Terrible. All of the water effects were done with a beam splitter. What's a beam splitter? Two prisms glued together to form a glass cube. In this shot, we're seeing two images at once. The landscape is in front of the lens, while the prism reflects an image of the water from the left. In the front view, the water area is painted black. Here is the water area to be superimposed over the front view, the landscape. The waves on the water were made with this ripple glass, which is put in front of the camera and moved very slowly. When Toad swims, he is actually suspended in space. The water was way off to the left of him. The entire effect would only be seen through the camera, which joined the two images. It's hard to relate to the water when the water is across the room. This will give you an idea of what's involved in producing one shot. This is the shot from the beginning of the film where Frog runs over to Toad's house. I always animate with a ritual. First the body move, then the little leg move, then the little arm move. I always gauge the size of the move with a tongue depressor with special marks on it to keep the moves even. Now it's time once again to expose another picture frame. Since Frog is running fast and each move is a large one, I'm exposing only one frame per move. This shot has 125 frames, so Frog is moved 125 times. And Frog was accident prone. <coughs> now it's time to take the film to the laboratory to be developed. Most labs develop during the night so you can see your film the next morning. And now the tense moment when you first see the results of 12 hours hard work. Five seconds of animation. Frog and Toad are friends took one year to make. There are 25,000 different picture frames. I don't have to do this for a living. I could starve instead. Oh. Toad, you're supposed to laugh. Oh, very funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm.